Hello and greetings everybody, it's your friendly neighborhood Blackout and today we're going to be opening and checking out the Fire Max 11. And unlike other uh, reviews, I'm not really going to even review this that much, there's plenty of those out there. Um, I'm going to show you how to make this a fantastic tablet by stripping all of the, the uh, Amazon junk ads. Uh, Alexa, all the garbage. You can leave on what you want and you can take off all the their dumb store and just make it a stock Android tablet. I am replacing... <laughs> look at this. <laughs> this is a uh, just a regular old Fire HD. And as you can see, still working. This thing, I mean, I got it, I think, two years ago, two or three years ago. So I think it's like a generation or two ago. Problem with this, it only had two gigs of RAM. It was fine for watching things. It still works, amazingly. This thing has been dropped. Uh, let me enter the code. And uh, as you can see, it still works. I'm not kidding you when I said it was dropped from three stories onto like concrete. And that's the, the one thing about plastic. It's, and I, I got it on Amazon Day, I think two years ago for $69. So. If you just want a tablet that you don't care about. Um, but the games it didn't do and the cameras stink on it. So, goodbye. I'm going to show you how to get rid of it. You're going to need something called Fire Tool Box XDA. It might be Fire Tool Kit XDA. We'll, we'll, we'll uh, <laughs> go to that. This. Where's the little tapey thing? We'll go to that in a second. Oh, did this just peel off? Do I need a key? Ah, yes. I know I'm gonna like this already because I loved the other one. It just didn't play games that great because of the RAM. Simple games, fine, but anything that needed, you know, a lot of memory or 3D things and things like that, it would clunk up and it would clunk up a little bit when I use it. Ooh, I can already tell this looks beautiful. Wow. Now, you've seen this before. Fortunately, they didn't have the keyboard and the stylus. I got this at Best Buy. Um, okay, so we got we got our little plug here, I'm sure. And again, this has all been shown, but I haven't seen, I haven't held it in my hand yet. Ooh, it's bigger first off. So here's, here's the old one. I can see that right now. But as you can see with this, normally when you uh, turn on a, a, an Amazon tablet, the first thing that happens is you get an ad or some cockamamie junk on the screen, you know, or a, an advertisement for a book, and you gotta swipe past their ad or you gotta watch some garbage. It's, and it clunks up your machine. There's so much Amazon bloat that if you get, I think this, is, this one is just the, I don't remember if it's 32 or 64, whatever the stock one was, more than enough, and I put in a SD card, which I'll probably be switching to that. Uh, okay, let's, ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, I love, I love this. This is the best part. I can smell the factory newness. Wow, what a difference, what a difference. Look at the, oh my God. I don't even want to put, I just put fingerprints on the front. That is gorgeous. Look at that. Look at it. Look at that. It's so gorgeous. So I'm going to turn. Oh, okay. This is the top. So right off the bat, let's take a look at the differences here. It's slightly bigger. This looks, this reminds me very much of a Samsung Galaxy tablet. If you have any of the Samsung Galaxy Tab A series or um, they are, they are great. I have one. My mistake was I got it on sale and I got the 32 gig one. And even though I put a 256 gig card in there, I wonder if there's power for this thing. If it's got to come with some power, I'm hoping. Let's see. Okay, here we go. And let's see. One, two, three. Maybe not. Ooh. Sorry about all the reflections, but um, it's shiny. It certainly is. Let's get the power cord out. It feels super premium, I can tell you right now. I mean, you hear that plasticky, and then this is, wow, this is gorgeous. Oh my God. Oh yeah, the screen, 
I can tell you right now, right off the bat, this was an okay screen, but it's, again, cheapy plastic. This feels premium. This feels glass. Wow. All right, so the first thing I did actually is connect it up to Wi-Fi. That was very easy. Another thing that's great about this, I uh, it supports Wi-Fi 6, which is way faster uh, and a lot longer range. Let's show what we're getting rid of. It's rebooting. So before I just jump to the the tool, the fire, it's called Fire Toolbox. Is it Fire Toolbox or Fire Tool Quick Kit? I think it's Toolbox, pretty sure. XDA, uh, fi Amazon Fire Toolbox. Um, it played like a little intro video that I didn't record because other people have showed it. It was, but I'm telling, the screen is gorgeous. Just way past this, like <laughs> this is done. Okay, so now it's trying to, here comes the ads. This is what we're getting rid of. Goodreads. Uh, not now. We'll just go not now, not now. Uh, I have a Kindle, and I would probably read most of my books on the Kindle. No, here, here, this is what you got to deal with with Amazon. The constant trying to sell your kids. No thing. Here we go. We got to go through all Amazon trying to sell you stuff. You're going to have it already. There. Oh, beautiful screen, really. Look at this. Wow, super responsive. I could tell that the refresh rate is faster than that. Alexa spies on you. And anyone who uses it, you're a doofball. <laughs> okay, so this is this is their You know, this is Amazon's software. And what we want to do is get rid of this. Okay, so I've moved into my computer room and uh before you, it doesn't matter which order you do it, but you want to go on the tablet, you want to, I've already done it, but I'll, I'll go through and show you. You go here, you go to settings, you're going to go down to, uh, what is it? Ba -ba 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 device options somewhere. There it is, device options. And you want to, um, Look for developer options and hit that. You want to turn it on. I already have it turned on, but yours is going to be off. Turn it on. Then you want to scroll down, go to USB debugging, turn that on. To go here, and you're going to download Fire Toolbox. It's up to version 32. You could just search for it. Um, and you'll come to this, these forms here. You just search for, uh, you know, fire toolbox. You'll come to forms called XDA forms. They're trustworthy. They're, uh, incredible hackers. And now you're going to download fire toolbox. I've already done that. And now I'm going to take a USB cable. It's running and it's waiting for me to connect via USB. USB cable goes into, it's on the top if you are in portrait mode, it's on the right if you're in landscape mode. We're gonna plug in. We're now connected to the computer. It's gonna come up, fire is connected to a low power charger. Don't remind me. I don't know, it's fine. Allow, always allow from this computer. Allow, and now I'm gonna go back and it should show up on the computer. Let's check it out. We're gonna go back to the toolbox main menu and this is really the important thing. You don't even have to do the other stuff. If you just want Google Play on there, you don't wanna mess with taking anything off because it scares you. Just go to Google services and then you wanna put, and you can choose whether to sync or not and boom, hit execute, and there you go. And now you are getting Google Play services put onto your Amazon tablet. And you'll have not, you won't have to deal with the stupid uh, Amazon store, which doesn't have 90% of the things that most people want. You're gonna install Google Play services. That'll take a couple minutes. And now we have got the Google Play Store. Yay!
so you can click sign in and now you have access to everything on the Android.